today we're going to talk about making a dummy. Who knows what a dummy is in relation to publishing? I see two hands go up really fast and then two hands come down really fast. What were you going to say? Like one of those training dummies. Oh, like a crash training dummy, a crash test dummy. Okay, what were you going to say? A dumb person. You can't use the same word when you're uh, defining it. If I was going to say, the, the word soft means it's soft. It doesn't tell you anything. And you just did that. So what does a dumb person mean? Okay. And I saw a hand up there in the corner. Um, same as Coles. Okay. And 65? It's like kind of like a rough draft that you give to your publisher before you can spend the money on the like expensive book. So you just say print out all your pages and do it to your publisher in like black and white so it's not like pretty and stuff so they can make the corrections. And add what you just added. To, to glue no, stuff on the pages. Yeah, they, to just, just, why would they do that? To like, um, see what it would look like. Okay. S a couple of you are at this point for your magazine project. Most of you are not, but I want to show you what the next step is going to be for when you get there. And that's called making it down. Now, I printed out from one of your classmates, 65's, articles, because she's just about ready to do this step. And um, I took some blank pieces of paper. How many pages was your magazine supposed to be um, in the directions? Yes? Wait, no, I, I was... I, I don't know. Wait, four, four to eight pages. Four to eight pages. Is this one page? Two. Two. It's two four. pages. There's a front and a back to it. So... And the other thing is, the cover can count as one page. And in some magazines, you see the cover has just a small art, uh, picture and a headline, and it starts the feature article down here, mostly in the, um, and other magazines, the whole front page is a cover and um, just headline teasers about what's going on in it. Yes? Uh, are you going to re-show us how to make that cover online? Yes, I will show that later. So you take your pages for your magazine and how many you think you're going to need. Um, I have three pieces of paper here. How many pages is that? Six. Yeah, thanks for raising your hand over there. There are two ways you can choose to bind your dummy magazine in here. There's other ways professionally, but we're doing it this year. You can either staple really close to the edge. And most of you, I'm presuming, want to do whole page magazines. If you want to do a half page magazine like this, let me know and I'll show you how to do that. But it's basically the same. The other way to do this, and I need my filmer to come right up here to take a close look at this, my videographer, is to, if you don't want to use staples, just take a long piece of tape and film right down here and not get it stuck on your fingers or on each other. Oh, I was able to take it apart. Sometimes you can't do that. And you put it on half so half of it sticks out do you see that and if you do it on the table it's really easy and then you flip it over and you bend it down and then the pages are bound together with a flat seam and if the middle part pops out because it's not stapled you can do the same thing on the inside like this and if you do it the long way and right down the middle, like that, like that, do that there. Okay, thank you, you can go back that way. So I took um, 65s, and she hadn't done a title, I don't even know if this is the title she wants, I chose it because that's the theme of her magazine, and I wrote that in pencil, gold rush. And then I went, huh, I think, if I was doing this, I'd want a picture here. You do not have to do it this way. Um, and I didn't see which one. And then I'm saying table of contents. Can I do the table of contents now? Yeah. No. Why not? Because you don't even have your content. Yeah, I don't know what page they are. I don't even have page numbers on here yet. and nothing. So then I had printed out all of her articles on black and white. Black and white because it's not expensive yet. Where it's the rough draft still. Yes. So one of the things I noticed 
that on some things when I print it out, let's see if I can find one that I did it on, that one of the citations, okay, one of the citations went to another piece of paper, a completely separate one. This one down here, you can see I glued, I cut out from another piece of paper because there was nothing on the piece of paper except for this second citation. Well, I don't want to have a whole blank page in my magazine. So I cut that out and pasted that right there. Does that make sense? Do you understand what I did there? Okay. I have her tools to bring to California article, her bibliography. But I haven't finished her, it. One of her choice art, which isn't finished, but that's okay because I'm just showing you. The getting to California. Oh, here's an example of one of those. So getting to California, she has three citations, but they didn't fit on the third page. The computer didn't put it on that. So what I would do is I'd cut this out and glue it up here for right now. For the real magazine? We'll figure out for the real magazine, but we're, we're doing this right now, just getting things arranged. So I would do that, and that's what I did on the one I showed you before. So then I would go find the feature article. She has her opinion article in here. And I noticed when it printed out that the eye is in a different color, so I'll have because that's why it printed in a shade. So you also have to proofread when you print this out. So I have to decide if that's what I really wanted. I don't, so you might have to go in and change that. So um, I decided I wanted the feature article first. Her feature article takes up the first two pages. One of the things is a designer, editor, layout person is do I want it to take up two whole pages? If I used a smaller font, would it take up more space or less space? Yes. Do I want a teensy tiny font? No. Because then you can read it. You read it. But this looks like a 14 or 16 font. Do you remember what it is that you used? So it's fairly large. 12 to 14 is, is usually what people do, but sometimes people do it much smaller. So you have to kind of experiment, and you might have to print out a couple of times to see what it is that you really want. So if you wanted it to be all on one page, or if you wanted it to be a page and a half and have this for something else, you could do that. Yes? I look at it now, and I don't want one of those pictures. That's, and that's another reason for doing it this way, is because you get to look at it and do that final editing going, oh. Yeah, I don't like how that looks. I don't want that picture in there. And then you can go back and take it out and then redo the dummy. This is your time to do that because if we printed this in color as your final copy and then you were disappointed with it, mm -hmm. mm, you said, this is a way to make it work for you, to find all those things that you want to do. Did you have a question? Um. So say you did exactly what I told you you had to do. A feature article, an opinion article, and two choice articles, and a learning activity. And you put it together and you go, huh, I really want another page. I want two more pages. Can you do that then? Yeah. yeah, that's one of the reasons for the dummy. You might go, oh, I really want my magazine to have something else. It's okay. So after you do your articles and you think you're ready, this is the next step. And it's not only for layout, but also to see what looks and to see what looks good visually, but also to see mistakes that you might have made in editing and revising or seeing if it makes sense. For the real article heart, are you gonna you know how to do front and back? But yes, we will print it out front and back. I know how to do that. Yep, that's pretty easy to do. Yes, sir. Um, do you think that you should so we are going to be able to print it on the color printer when we're done? Yes. And um, Mrs. Smart knows about it? I've already talked with Mrs. Smart about it. And the other thing is, so say uh, um, our friend... Um, Me. So say page numbers. We add those at the end. We will print out one copy, but our color printer also makes color copies. So if we need to cut and paste a couple of things together, we can make a solid color copy of it so it, it will all fit and work well. Yes? Have you cut off those like the, not the sites that you got the pictures from and put them in the back of your book, or would you have them at the bottom of each page? That is a choice you have to make as a researcher and a writer. The problem with putting them at the, at the end 
is that they're numbered. You'd have to change the numbers. So that so if you did because in this article there's one two and th there's one and two. In this article there's one and two. So if you put them at the end of the article, you don't have to change. But if you put them at the end in a resource in a page that says credits or bibliography, you either have to take out the numbers from the article, which is one choice, or renumber them to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or could you do like page four, number one? Yes, you can do it that way too. And those are all decisions as an editor a researcher and a writer, you get to make. Your choice might be different than Tom's, but as long as you make a consistent choice throughout your magazine, your publication, and as long as you give credit to other people's work that you're using to make your point, all is good. Some places, if you are publishing in a scientific journal or a history journal or a mathematician journal, an academic journal, or even in National Geographic or Scholastic News, they have certain guidelines, style guidelines, that they use for their publishing. Our fifth grade guideline is you're the, you make the choice. Does that make sense? Answer your question. Anybody else? So this is the next step. Some of you may be out there. You can't use this copy because I'm using, I still have to do one more lesson with it, with these printouts. But I thank you for letting me, that's remember I told you I was going to use it and asked you if it was okay. The stapler. Glue stick, scissors, paper are going to be your friends during this time period. We have today, science is a little shorter because of testing and rescheduling. Of, oh, and art are going to be, um, my class has art at 115, so we're going to be going till um, between 110 and 115. No! Cut. Cut. Filming. Off.